Hello everyone, welcome to Vix Tarot Guidance. Welcome all of you that are new and all of you returning today to this channel. In this video, we're going to be looking into their exact thoughts and feelings towards you at this time. So we're going to be using the Green Witch Oracle over here to pick your groups, to pick your cards. Before we get into this, make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Also, if you want to book a personal tarot reading, you can book through the Etsy shop down below. So let's get into this. What are their exact thoughts and feelings? Group number one. So group number one, you have a tranquility showing up here. So this is your card. Group number two. Your exact thoughts and feelings. Okay, this one wants to show up. We have affection showing up for you, group number two. Beautiful. Again, I, I feel like I want to do the two for you, Glen Coco. I don't know why. Affection for you, group number two. You go, group number two. We also have agreement here for group number three showing up, right? So these are the three groups. We're going to get three more cards for each of the groups. So for group number one, please, Spirit. Okay, so we have transition. We have stimulation. And we have divination for you, group number one. For group number two, all right, we have strength showing up. We have grounding and we have protection. Okay, interesting. Group number three, please, Spirit. Okay, we have happiness showing up we have gratitude and okay this one wants to show we have wisdom oh my gosh powerful very very beautiful energies for you guys all right so these are the three groups you can pick from for group number one here we have this beautiful tranquility card with the violet for group number two we have affection with sorel and taurus energy for group number one we have pisces energy and for group number three over here we have the beautiful agreement with strawberry and libra energy showing up so let me just center this a little bit for the camera so you can pause the video right now these are the additional cards we have drawn and we're going to be looking into them in your groups pause the video if you feel like you need a bit more time the timestamps to all the groups are down below you can pick more than one group you can pick for more than one person whatever you feel guided to you can also return to this video later if you want to this is a timeless reading so see you all in your groups and do pause the video if you feel like you want to take a little bit more time Hello, group number one, welcome. So you have picked Tranquility with the Violet and Pisces energy today. So let's get into this. So we have Violet here. Let's see what else. We have Transition with the Cauliflower showing up and Cancer energy. Gorgeous. We have Stimulation with the Chili and Aries energy. And also we have divination with the chives and Scorpio energy showing up for you guys. Alrighty, so let's get into this. Let's see what wants to show up for you. What are their exact thoughts and feelings? Okay, they find this relationship overall to be very stimulating. Like there is a lot going on for them energetically in their own thoughts in their own emotions when it comes to this connection right so this connection is very your person would say intense for them even if you know there are not a lot of things happening even if you guys are just kind of sitting with each other in silence this person is going to perceive this connection in a quite a strong way so this connection it is an intense connection for them it is an intense relationship whatever your relationship is um it takes a lot for them to be in your presence as well in, in terms of um like being able to handle the energy right so it feels like there's a lot of intensity going on between the two of you even if you're just like sitting in silence with each other there feels like there's a huge intensity between the two of you like there's this feeling of um just you know like energetic power between the two of you is how i would put it 
um, there's a psychic connection here between the two of you as well with divination and stimulation. I'm deeply getting that. You guys could have very strong eye contact for a person. They, they might be thinking about your own eye contact today or might just be thinking about how incredible it feels in your presence. So when I say it is energetically intense, I don't necessarily mean it's bad. It's a bad feeling. It can be just very incredibly joyful, you know, high vibrational energy existing between the two of you. I am getting that energy. It feels like it's calm, like the energy between the two of you is calm and secure and solid, but at the same time, like energetically powerful. Um, and there's this, there's this like depth to it as well. With divination, I feel like your person is thinking about potentially getting a tarot reading on this relationship or about this connection, or they might have been getting tarot readings about this connection before as well. There's just this feeling here of wanting to get to the bottom of this, wanting to understand this connection better and feeling like they need to use like divination tools in order to get to the bottom of this. This connection feels like it's not just something you talk about in a therapy session, for example, because your therapist is not going to understand what's going on. So this connection is more like mystical, more, more deep, more intense, more interesting to your person. Um, they feel like there's a certain layer of this connection that's very deep, that's very intense. They could consider you to be their soulmate, their twin flame even, you know, their kindred soul. They feel like this deep bond with you. Your person could have had, you know, prophetic dreams about you or strong dreams about you. For some of you, they could have dreamt about you before you guys met or vice versa. You could have dreamt about them before you guys met as well because there feels like there's this deep, um, deep layer of connection here between the two of you like a mystical, mysterious connection here between the two of you. So yeah, that's going on with stimulation and with divination. Like with transition, I feel like your person is in a certain transitory and uh, transitional period in their own lives. So in their own thoughts, in their own emotions, they are transitioning, they're moving to from something towards something else. We're going to tap into and see what that is. We have tranquility here and we have stimulation here on each side. So on some level, it feels like they're moving from a more like peaceful, like solid, maybe no contact energy towards a more powerful energy, towards a more motivated, bold energy with stimulation. With tranquility energy, you also have Pisces here. So I feel like your person could be also transitioning here from daydreams, from like little um, coulda, woulda, shoulda energy, you know. Um, I could do this, I could do that, I could have done this, I could have done that energy um, that's very dreamy, that's very much like contemplative and transitioning towards, you know, more bold, assertive energy, like I'm going to assert myself, I'm going to be motivated, I'm going to show up, you know, I'm going to be in the spotlight, I'm going to message them, you know, with the stimulation with Aries energy over here. So it feels like there's, there's a move from passivity towards a more dynamic energy. We're going to see what the tarot wants to say here now in a minute. Your person could also like be reading tarot for themselves, you guys, <laughs> just with divination there. So we have justice. Okay, so they're trying to align with truth. They're trying to align with clarity. They're trying to understand this connection better here with justice. Right, so what do we have here? The seven of crystals. Your person is still not rushing into anything. They feel, you know, the sense of solidness here. They're waiting for things to bear fruit in this connection as well. They could be waiting for something to happen. Maybe an occurrence or an event needs to happen before they can make contact with you. We have options here and results. So they're still feeling like there are a lot of different options here that they need to plan for and like almost like awaiting results. It's an energy of waiting for results to show up or waiting for some things in the physical world to kind of be like, quote unquote, finished. For some of you, it could be, you know, something to do with justice here as well, with some type of truth being shared or some type of clarity um, kind of being brought to your person or just them being able to be open enough to a certain clarity about your situation. With justice energy, I can't help but think of legal matters for you guys. So if it, pos it is possible your person is dealing with some legal matters, uh, for some of you it could be divorce, it could be something else as well. It could have to do with like bureaucracy and paperwork, just, just that energy here. 
So they could be thinking about that. Um, so let's see what else. All right, so we have the star energy, gorgeous. So the star is all about peace and healing, aligning with the higher self energy as well, aligning with a more loving approach towards this connection. So a person is thinking, feeling into wanting to align with you in a more gentle, in a more loving way. Um, they want to heal this connection or they want to heal parts of themselves that are um, just, you know, kind of not aligned or they're seeing them as not aligned with the two of you. They want this connection to be peaceful, to be loving. Let's see what else. So what else do we have here? We have the nine of acorns. Yeah, they're also like more action oriented. With the nine of acorns, there's this nine of wands energy. This one show is showing up with power and perseverance. So there's almost like the feeling of keeping an eye on you, of stalking you. So, so there's like this motivation towards continuing to check up on you here as well. So let's see what else. We have the nine of shells, gratitude and fulfillment. So your person is very grateful for this connection, especially like the psychic um more private um energetic dimension of this relationship more emotional an emotional component of this connection what it has brought them what it has given them how it has opened them up they're very grateful for it uh, we have the seven of feathers here as well so with the seven of feathers there is a feeling here of your person not sharing everything with you and they're thinking hard about the things that they have not shared with you so it feels like they might have kept some things from you some secrets some private matters are being kept from you right now and your person is thinking about that they are potentially thinking about sharing these private thoughts these private emotions with you as well that have to do potentially with how they feel towards you and how they feel about this connection. Um, so it's it's more about, you know, how to progress this connection romantically and how they are viewing this, what their situation is right now. It feels like they are preparing themselves to have contact with you. Um, and there's a sense of resourcefulness here. So it feels like they're also like tapping into many different many different like tools, uh, many different methods, many different people's opinions as well um, to just better understand where they want to stand, where they do stand with you. They, they might also, you know, be tapping into divination here, um, especially if your person usually wouldn't, you know, consult with tarot or oracle cards. They, they could be doing that right now just because of this resourcefulness. It feels like they're looking outside of their comfort zone to find more information about this connection. This person is on the bottom of the deck ready to have adventure. So underneath all their energy, there's like this drive towards wanting adventure. That's a transition here, adventure potential, right? So they want adventure. They want things to move. Um, they want things to have power. They want your connection to have more power. They want to be moved. They want to be expanded, right? So even if this person is currently more, you know, or has been in a more like passive energy or hasn't been taking action, like deep down inside of them, there is a part of them that is very loud right now. That's like, okay, let's head into the unknown. Let's jump off a cliff. Let's be adventurous. Let's have an adventure here. This is our chance. Why live like a, I'm hearing pussy. So why live like a fucking coward? You know, they are really like, you know, speaking to themselves like that. So all about adventure, all about potential and claiming that for themselves in this lifetime 11 11 on the clock so what else okay let's get with the lovers oracle let's get with it <laughs> i love the words coming out of my mouth sometimes it's like what so we have libra energy we have aquarius energy um yeah we have libra we have aquarius okay so let's see what is the message what do they want to say? What are their exact thoughts and feelings right now? Okay, we have embrace. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. So this is like, again, this energy of finding you very important to them, wanting to embrace you, but also thinking of you as an important person for their own emotional, 
spiritual and physical growth as well as a being. You had a huge part or have also currently you have a huge part in your person's transformation towards their higher self, towards who they want to be, towards their ideal self, right? So you have this huge hand in, even if you don't know it, you have this huge influence on them. Through each other, you find the missing pieces energy. You are a mirror to this person. So they might sometimes get triggered by you. They could be thinking about that as well, like how they get triggered by you and how you are a mirror to them and how you react to them and how you act towards them. How you might be a mirror to the things that they have you know, deny the sound about themselves, but also how you are a mirror of things that they really do enjoy about themselves as well. Um, in, with embrace energy, your person wants to have physical contact with you. So they're thinking about that. They're thinking about hugging you, caressing you, holding you. They want to be closer with you or closely, more closely connected to you. We have twin flames here. So twin flame energy, your passion ignites. So yeah, your person is becoming more and more passionate towards you, more and more like passionately oriented towards you. This is a very, very powerful connection, right? So soulmate twin flame energy, definitely, or a twin flame dynamic just coming through. You know, you guys mirroring each other very intensely. So let's see what else. So we have this one. We have weight. So your person is also thinking about waiting, you know, waiting for some some options to like reveal themselves to them. There's this feeling of, you know, just kind of waiting for some things to show up. But there, there is like a questioning from them as well. Like, is this going to show up or how is it going to show up? So um, they're waiting for things to develop, but they're not sure yet what type of development this is going to be here. So we have wait. Your person is, however, drawn or oriented towards waiting right now don't rush into it allow nature to take its course so they're trying not to like rush into anything they're trying not to like be be too impulsive or be too rash about anything right now right so what else for some of you your person is not wanting to mess up what you guys already have so the relationship that you have right now, they don't want to mess it up. I just heard that in my mind. I don't want to mess it up. <clears throat> For some of you, they also don't want to make you feel uncomfortable with them because they want you to like appreciate them and love them. Give thanks for the blessings of love soon to, soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. So yeah, they're very grateful for you. That's that gratitude fulfillment energy. Your person feels very grateful that you are in their lives, that you are, you know, a part of them in this reality. We also have new beginnings. Um, a new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. You guys, this is wonderful. This is again on the bottom of the deck and it's mirroring the full energy, right? It's mirroring this traveler. It's mirroring the adventurous part of your person being like, hell, let's go, let's go. I want to, I want adventure. I want to go, you know, I want to do, do things, go places. It's, it's a very dynamic energy and they're stepping into that. So let's get you guys some cards now as well in terms of just messages what wants to show up for you. So let's see what messages want to show up for you. Group number one, what do they want to say? Want to explore us. Also, they're saying they want to explore your body. So they want to explore this connection. That's that traveler energy. So we have, I'm so busy right now, but I'm into you. So they could be dealing with some heavy loads at work or at home, even with their potential family or care caregivers. We have kiss me. This person wants physical contact. They're also, I feel like here, just dreaming, thinking about you kind of just kissing them out of nowhere, you know, being you being bold and just kissing them. It, it would be interesting to them. They kind of want it. Let's be friends. They want to be more closely connected to you, especially if you guys are like acquaintances or, you know, work colleagues. They want to be more closely connected to you. They want to get to know you better. They want to be more friendly towards you as well, more joyful, more happy. I hope I get to see you soon. So they're really excited to see you soon, of course. See what else they want to say. I'm trying hard not to show you how much I care. So yeah, um, they're trying hard not to like fully reveal everything that they've been experiencing, everything that they've been wanting with you. We have you are magnetic. So they find you incredibly attractive, incredibly magnetic as a person 
you are so sexy showing up here as well on the bottom here we have wishful thinking so your person is also feeling like oh right <laughs> like you know what what if i'm just you know daydreaming about this and nothing's going to happen or nothing's going to come out of this they do find you very like attractive physically here sexy magnetic they feel this strong magnetic attraction between the two of you right so a lot of things showing up here i can't let my guard down so they're also feeling like they can't fully let their, their guard down and they might be in denial about some things here as well or they don't want to fully accept some things about this situation or about your connection or about your life here i'm seeing signs everywhere but your person is really deeply seeing signs everywhere about your connection wants to connect to you i have strong feelings for you so also synchronicities are showing up for them um you might be showing up in their dreams um people might be mentioning you or you know they could just be meeting people with your name as well um so they're really reminded of you they're really kind of feeling drawn to you as well they can't let can't forget about you like the universe is not letting your person forget about you if you ask i will come to you so your person is also saying that if you do contact them if you say that you want to hang out with them they are going to come they're going to respond to that they're going to they're going to be responding to your prompts so they are currently possibly avoiding you a little bit or you know don't know how to contact you but they want a new beginning. So it the energy here feels like your person's like at odds with the, with themselves. They could be also quite busy or also, you know, dealing with some type of sickness or they're maybe a little bit ill, maybe have a toothache, um, maybe just a cold is right now like present for them. Um, with I'm doing poorly, you know, it could be that some type of illness is present. So that's why they're not maybe as forward with your as open to adventure right now so let's see what else we have what we have is very special what else do we have whoops we have i'm so excited to see you again so your person is super excited to see you again super excited to meet you again to hang out with you again i want you to know i really care about you so they want you to know that they really care even though they might be like avoiding or being weird or just you know detaching or being in denial about certain things they, they still find this connection to be important right it could again be triggers you know they could be in denial and could be avoiding because they don't want to get triggered about some things um but they they can't let you go they daydream about you all the time you know they daydream about you they think about you and they, they like think about meeting you. They think about wanting to run into you. Now, are you going to be in this place? Let's, if I go to this place, am I going to meet group number one? It's like that type of thinking, you know, like what if I run into them? Oh my gosh, that would be so amazing. You know, so they're really, you know, wanting that as well. Um, they also definitely feel they might be falling in love with you. I think I might be falling in love with you. So yeah, they feel this is this is a powerful connection they are feeling like they cannot fully admit to their own feelings though like they can't admit to themselves like 100 percent that they have like these very very strong feelings and attachments towards you i'm hearing it's strange so they, they might be feeling it's strange that they have such strong feelings for you and we have i see a big future for us right on the bottom we have i need a break so they might need a break from themselves from their work um from just if there's some type of illness going on they feel like they just need a break or if there has been triggering going on between the two of your persons like okay i need a break you know let, let me just take a breather you know it's that type of feeling so thank you you guys for showing up this has been your reading for today for the exact thoughts and the feelings for you right now thank you for tuning in if you want to book a tarot reading with me check out etsy the link is down below to my etsy shop if you want to check out 18 plus tarot readings check out patreon so the link is also down below everything is linked down below so my email is down below if you want to contact me or let me know something don't forget to like subscribe and comment and of course check the other videos on this channel as well if you haven't yet uh, subscribe and click the notification bell so that you can be notified of other videos that I post. So I'll see you guys soon. Hope you have a lovely rest of the day. Blessings to you all and thank you for tuning in. 
Bye. Namaste. Hello, my darling group number two. Welcome. You have picked affection with Taurus and Sorel as your group, as your card. So let's get into this. Let's see what your person's exact thoughts, feelings towards you right now, right? So with affection, they feel like they're just looking at your social media right now. They feel like they're looking at your pictures or they're like checking up on you. Mm, it, it just feels like this person is like checking you out, checking out your pictures, looking at your picture. It literally feels like they have their picture up and they're like staring at you. They could be manifesting you guys as well, but mostly like the energy feels like they are thinking about how gorgeous you are, how beautiful you look, how amazing you are, and just, you know, how overall attractive you are as a person. This person has a lot of affection for you. They feel very like emotionally open. Their heart feels like it's opening up when they're looking at you. Um, they're saying it's easier to look at you, to just look at you than to speak with you. So, so they feel like they can be more open with you and if they are just looking at your picture like on their own alone. So let's see, we have strength here, fennel, Virgo energy. We also have grounding potato, again, Virgo energy. And we have protection onion, Aries energy. So fire and earth showing up for you guys, for your person and their exact thoughts. They're saying they want to be careful. So the energy with the grounding, with protection and strength, what's showing up is they want to be careful. They want to be careful what type of steps they are taking in this connection. Um, they don't want to upset you. They don't want to cause any disturbances in this connection. Um, for whatever reason, they're trying to be careful. They're trying to be very present with you, very kind of attuned to you as well, but also like attuned to the overall situation, but around the two of you, to your environment, to other people who could be potentially like linked to this relationship as well, whether directly or indirectly. Your person feels like they're very mindful of whatever they do towards you and how it is impacting you, your relationship, them, also the, the world at large, kind of, you know also like their and your environment. So they're very, very mindful of that. Could just be that your situation is very specific, um, whatever it is, we're not going to get into that right now. So your person's thoughts are about really being, again, very mindful of every single word that they're speaking, being careful about what they say to you, what they uh, speak, how they connect to you as well. There's a feeling here of wanting uh, clarity on, of being on the lookout for greater clarity and greater understanding. This person does want to talk to you. I feel like they are, they're building up the strength to connect to you and to talk to you with the sword energy here. They're trying to initiate contact between the two of you, but they feel like they're, they're kind of hyping themselves up to do it. So that's the feeling here with strength. Uh, trying to conquer their fears and anxiety when it comes to connecting to you, when it comes to contacting you as well. And trying to protect themselves, like they're either trying to protect themselves, protect something in their lives, right? So I am getting like the, the situation between the, the two of you is, is like implicating other people or implicating like this person's personal life in a strong way as well. Um, it just feels like they feel like they need to protect something, right? So there could be like status differences here, you know, you could be employer, employee energy, you know, it, it's that type of feeling. If I just give an example of, for example, you working with your person and your person maybe being higher up than you, they don't consider that to be a problem in itself. They consider gossip to be a problem, what other people might potentially say, how it might impact their personal life. You know, if they make a move towards you and you respond to them in a negative way, you know, so so it's like, um, you know, they don't want to come through as someone who is like 
a stalker or, or you know, just in that type of energy. They don't want to be creepy. They don't want to show up as a creepy person. For some of you, a person could have a family, could have children. They're trying to protect that as well. Um, while at the same time feeling strong affection and strong desire for you. So it's almost like you are the strong temptation for your person. They feel very drawn to you. They feel drawn to you for a particular reason. So it could be that, you know, they're, if they have a family, if they have like some type of attachment to their job, to their career, whatever it is, to their status, it could be that that's not working out so well. So, so they are feeling drawn to you, magnetized towards you because you have something for them. And the universe is kind of showing them where their expansion is. So it's up to this person to kind of decide if they want to move towards that or not. But yeah, like right now, their energy is about protecting themselves, grounding, being in reality in the situation, being analytical, following their head more than their heart. Um, they are, you know, able to tap into their heart when they are on their own. And I feel like this person just likes looking at your picture a lot and just thinking about you, right? Um, they might do other things as well that bring them pleasure as they're looking at your picture. So let's see what else. We have the Hermit. Yeah, this person could be like no contact or just, I feel like with the koala here, it feels like koala just climbed on the tree and is looking down. There's a feeling of keeping an eye on you though. This person is checking up on your social media. They're, they're trying to figure out like what to do about you, what to do about their <clears throat> desire for you as well. They're trying to figure out what to do about potential lust for you as well. Um, so yeah, we have contemplation and wisdom. They're trying to be wise, you know, trying to be clever, um, trying to find a solution here that is that is pure and loving and good for everybody or good for like the whole situation, good for the whole environment. But yeah, they're, they're at the same time, like keeping an eye on you, checking up your social media, like looking into you, what are you doing? You know, what have you been up to? They're, they're really curious about you. So let's see what else. We have the two of crystals, balance and adaptability. Yeah, so this person is trying to balance out certain things, certain areas of their physical life. For a lot of you guys, I'm seeing family. I'm, I'm seeing like work family dynamic, maybe, you know, moving places as well. Here is showing up like traveling to a different place or moving apartments. Um, they're trying to balance out their physical life and trying to adapt to their physical life. They're also trying to like adapt or like bring in this person, this person, you, group number two, in into this lifestyle that they have. They're trying to kind of, you know, kind of connect you into their lives energetically by thinking about you. I hope that makes sense. Like they're trying to kind of weave you by thinking about you. They're trying to weave you into their lives. Hope that makes sense. Um, kind of trying to manifest you, you know, that's, that's that energy. Um, let's see what else. I just heard, I really want to talk to you. Yeah. We have lovers showing up choice, trust. Your person knows they, they need to like choose if they want this love or not. It feels quite heavy on their heart right now. It feels like they're choosing between two things here as well. It, it just feels like they want this connection. They feel a strong sense of loyalty towards you. They feel a strong sense of attachment to you and connection with you. It's also like a feeling of dealing with trust. Like, can I trust myself to make the right decision? Right? I feel like your, your person is still protecting themselves or really protecting themselves uh, in trying to be like secure and stable and not make any like just impulsive or rash decisions. They feel like they are trusting their mind more than their heart in this situation. Let's see what else. With the Knight of Feathers, this person wants to talk to you, right? This is the Knight of Swords. So they want to talk to you. They are planning on being more assertive. So they're thinking about ways in which they can connect to you, planning on ways in which they can connect to you to just focus on this connection more, to talk to you more. They miss you and they want to talk to you more. So they want to make strides towards your, like make, 
little tiny baby steps towards you um, to, to feel out this connection more, to see how you're also feeling while also staying protected. So let's see, the Queen of Acorns, passion and creativity. Yeah, there's something like deep, like a deep urge, a deep need inside of your person to explore this connection. They feel passion here. They know there's strong passion between the two of you. They are feeling like a strong need, wanting to explore this connection. Especially, I, I can't shake the energy of your person just literally looking at your picture right now and feeling this strong passion, creativity, wanting to explore this relationship with you guys. They also like are thinking about you right now, how awesome you are, how wonderful you are. Yeah, the two of feathers showing up, the two of swords. Like they, they feel like they need to make a decision. They're at like a choice point in their lives right now when it comes to you and when it comes to this connection, what they want to do with this connection. And they are trying to choose what to do. Decisions and direction. So right now the energy is still a little bit indecisive. The energy is still like, okay, how do I do this? What do I do? You know, how do I do it while also like keeping this protection for myself or keeping myself in protection? Your person is dedicated to this connection. They can't not be dedicated to you because they feel such an attraction towards you. They can't not be dedicated to you. Um, they can't not think about you because there's so much passion. There's so much... Um, power in that energy so they are going to be called back to it over and over and over again yeah where was i going with that i just wanted to say that um with eight of crystals yeah they feel dedicated to you and this person is in progress so there's a sense of progress they feel like they're making progress even if this progress is like on the scene in the physical they feel like they are making progress here they're saying that they are doing their work, but they are doing the work slowly. And they want to say that they feel very comfortable around you, that you feel very good to them, that they really enjoy spending time with you, that the time spent with you is never wasted with the Queen of Acorns, with the Queen of Wands here. This person just really enjoys your company. They find themselves being very fulfilled in your presence, very joyful. They love how you guys have like similar interests as well that they can explore with you. They find your mind very interesting, very creative, very like intense as well. And they feel themselves very drawn to your mind and you. Um, yeah, they find you very intelligent. It is very hot to them how intelligent you are. And they, they feel like you guys really think alike as well. And there's that attraction there as well. So there's like a strong physical attraction here, but also strong mental attraction here. Like overall, there is strong intensity here. I'm just feeling that this is this is a connection that's going to build um, as spring approaches or, you know, as we move into March, especially Aries energy, um, there, there's going to be movement here in this connection at that time. And it's going to be interesting for you guys. So let's get into some more cards. Before we get into that, let's just call out some zodiac signs. So we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here, Gemini, Pisces, Pisces. Why is Pisces showing up? All right. I don't know why is Pisces showing up. So um, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra energy, Gemini here as well, Virgo energy here. Okay. So Virgo, Virgo over there, Aries and Taurus. Let's see what else you guys, what are their exact thoughts, feelings right now? They, they're saying they want to see you. Okay. So what else do they want to say? Let's just and just talk to your person. So they want to see you. They feel like they're a coward. Uh, what else are they thinking about? And they feel like they're a coward, like they cannot reach out to you. They feel like they would be breaching some type of contract if they were to connect to you. Maybe the contract that they made with themselves as well. For some of you, this person is trying to protect you from themselves because they feel like they might be like a bad influence on you or bad news for you. They, they are feeling like they might not be good for you as well so there's like a certain energy of what if i'm not good for group number two you know what if they don't like me so there's some type of doubt the insecurity there as well again they're, they're now returning to oh my gosh you're so beautiful look at your eyes look at your lips you know look at your skin i want to touch you i want to embrace you i want to hold you i want to caress you so more more like sexual energy showing up here also now so yeah 
there's there's a lot of that so let's see what else they want to say now okay so we have healing so a person could be healing this relationship right now or they could be healing from this relationship or they could be healing from something else in their lives as well you know if a the relationship if a previous relationship went badly they could be healing from that imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light feeling your relationship being healed at this very moment with healing this person is thinking very positive thoughts towards you right now so towards you specifically like they're thinking very positive things when it comes to them when it comes to their direction towards this connection that's when you know this person gets a little bit unclear um doubtful insecure we also have criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness love and accept each other as you are in your relationship will magically transform so yeah your person doesn't want any more difficulty here they want things to be gentle loving more pure um they they want to also take action towards you that is more loving and gentle they don't want to lash out you know in the past they kind of were triggered they want to work on that and not be as triggered over things we also have secret admirer here someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on so yeah your person is secretly admiring you at this very moment like yeah let's go let's see what else we have what else my beloved wow so though we may be physically apart spiritually we are always united for love transcends space and time nothing is missing so there's this again like deep deep connection deep like spiritual connection your person feels with you deep like psychic connection that they feel with you they just can almost like feel you in their presence as they're thinking about you as they're feeling into your energy all right and they feel like they are on the brink of transformation this person feels like their relationship with you is about to deepen and transform soon love conquers and transforms all things so transformation is on the bottom of the deck we also have like love we have the lovers so there's a strong deep bond between the two of you a strong loving bond between the two of you um your person might feel like you are their kindred soul their twin flame their soulmate you know i'm hearing i don't want to let you go i'm also hearing we are meant to be together we're meant to be with one another so let's see what else i just got like a a very fresh air energy so so it's almost like wind is blowing um they they are bringing clarity to their like mental emotional states right now is what i can say that's healing that's healing for them so let's see what do they want to tell you group number two what do they want to tell you i'm trying not to hurt us others yeah like that's that protection feeling that's that protection energy um let's see what else i have strong feelings for you yeah they have very strong feelings for you guys like it also feels like they are afraid to claim them they're afraid to like own them um if you guys are feeling this as well try to own your feelings as well try to own your feelings for your person more don't push them aside or be like oh my gosh how do i deal with this you know um own it like if you have strong intense emotions for your person own them you know you could be marrying each other here i don't know what i want you're going to know what you want once you own your emotions so again i feel like that's mirroring um don't take it if it doesn't resonate but for some of you it is mirroring energy um, but yeah your person is a bit confused they don't know what they want i don't want to let you go yeah just a confirmation here let's see what else you are on my mind right now yeah like literally they are thinking about you very strongly right now this person is literally thinking about you right now you are magnetic let's see what else we have if you ask i will come to you so your person is saying that if you ask them to connect to you if they ask them to like talk to you they are going to talk to you right so they are going to respond to you i'm trying hard not to show you how much i care so it could be circumstance could be also like not being able to own the intensity here not being able to own the true love here that exists between the two of you 
So let's see what else. We, right, I hope we get to spend more time together. And what else do we have here? Kiss me. Oh, wow. All right. So your person being like, oh, kiss me. I hope we get to spend more time together. They're dreaming about just, you know, more physical connection between the two of you. Um, they're dreaming of being able to touch you, being able to kiss you, being able to feel your skin, um, being able to feel your lips. They like to imagine the softness of your lips as well. You're missing from my life is on the bottom of the deck. So let's see what else. Let's just get like four or six cards from the other deck. For some of your person could be like in denial that this is true love, that this is the love that they've been wanting and searching for with true love here. Um, that's that feeling of, again, not owning the strong emotions. So we have, I want to pleasure you. They want to take care of you. They want to pleasure you. Of course, there's strong um, physical attraction here. What do we have here? I'm going through a lot in my life. So there are possibly other circumstances implicating this right now for them as well. They could be going through some stuff right now. I need to touch you again. So they definitely feel like they want to touch you again. And we have, I want to massage you, right? So you have this person wanting to massage you, wanting to touch you. On the bottom, you are my soulmate. Wow, powerful. So your person definitely feels like you guys are strongly connected, strongly linked. This is a very dynamic connection for them. This is one of the most dynamic and transformative, personally transformative connections that they've had their entire lives, you know, and they're very blessed that they get to connect to you and are with you. But at the same time, it is, you know, a heavy process. It is something that requires work on themselves constantly as well. So you guys, this is your reading. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for sharing your energy. If you want to book a personal tarot reading with me, check out the Etsy store down below. If you want to check out 18 plus mature adult tarot readings, check out Patreon. That's also linked down below. Thank you so much for tuning in for this reading on your person's energy. Check out other videos on this channel as well if you haven't yet. Of course, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell if you haven't. And let me know how this reading was for you down below in the comment section. I would be so happy to hear what you think. See you guys soon in the next one. Hope you have a lovely day. Blessings to you all. Bye. Namaste. Hello, group number three. Welcome. You have picked the agreement card today. So we have strawberry with Libra energy here for you guys, for your person's exact thoughts and feelings right now. So with agreement energy, your person wants to be in agreement with you. They feel like they want to agree with you on what to do so as to like keep the peace and the harmony of the relationship. So that's interesting. Let's see what other energies want to come through, but that's like the immediate energy that I'm getting for you guys. So agreement, a strawberry. Let's see, we have happiness here, marjoram energy and Gemini showing up. We have gratitude, pink rose um, and Gemini energy again. And we have wisdom, bay and Leo energy. All right, so overall, this is a very light energy. This is very light-hearted, harmonious, harmony-oriented energy. Your person's exact thoughts and feelings towards you right now are peaceful, um, are wise, emotionally stable, emotionally calm energy directed towards you. A little bit of playfulness is present, definitely, but it's like gentle, it's like easygoing energy. It's what I'm getting here. Very gentle, like easygoing. Um, keep the peace. Let's be happy. Let's be fulfilled. Um, let's let's go with the flow. But there's like a, this peacefulness, just gentleness, softness, and soft movement here as well. There's a lot of affection here for you also. So pardon me, pardon my phone. Um, your person feels a great deal of affection for you. They feel a great deal of gratitude for you. Um, I feel like they're just trying to be mindful of how they're approaching you, how they're speaking to you. Um, they're trying not to have any fights between the two of you or any conflicts. They're just trying to keep the peace. That's just the energy here. They're trying to be 
or come into an agreement with you of what to do and how to have this connection. They just overall feel very fulfilled um, in this relationship with you. They feel very grateful that they got to meet you, that they get to spend time with you however much that is they're grateful for the amount of time they do get to spend with you they're feeling wise like there is wisdom here there's an emotional intelligence here there's a feeling of not rushing into things not being you know um not being impulsive about sharing certain thoughts certain feelings without like really feeling into that before and tapping into that and just kind of finding peace within themselves and like a certain ground stable ground um, there's a lot of love for you here as well with the pink rose energy. Your person has a lot of romantic feelings for you. And yeah, they're just happy to see you. You just you just bring them like gratitude and love and warmth and comfort. So what else? Let's get into the tarot now. Let's see. So we have the moon. All right, so with the moon energy, we have imagination and perception. We have a little bit of that energy of not really being sure what to do, but, but kind of following their intuition. I want to get all the cards out for you guys. So the Eight of Crystals showing up here, Dedication and Progress. This is the Eight of Pentacles. Yes, I just wanted to check in with myself real quick if it's correct so let's see what else um we have the high priestess yeah like this person feels this connection on a very energetic emotional level um they could be very private about something or just secretive about something right now as well and they're thinking about that they're potentially thinking about how to share some things with you so let's see what else we have the queen of crystals here, so the Queen of Pentacles, Comfort and Prosperity, the Hedgehog. And what else do we have? We have the Ten of Shells, okay, Blessings and Well-Being. So that's that Ten of Cups energy showing up for you. That's that like happiness, fulfillment that your person feels around you. We have Justice. So they're definitely called to making things right. Um... This person could be interested in some legal matters. They could be dealing with some legal papers right now. Um, could be in regards to property, could be in regards to marriage, even between the two of you. Could be um, that they're just handling some type of legal issues. Um, it feels like there is some type of contract between the two of you that are, you're going to share space with each other for a particular amount of time in this lifetime. Um, there is a sense of wanting to be more clear about this connection, wanting to be more truthful about where your connection stands right now. So your person with the justice energy here, they're all about finding clarity. They're all about finding clarity together to really know and solidly stand more clearly in this connection, to be clear about where this connection stands and where it's going and what you want out of it. You know, so that you're both really like secure and sure about what this relationship is for the two of you right now. We have the Knight of Crystals on the bottom, Endurance and Determination. So with the Knight of Crystals, we have that like slow moving progress, a very practical energy. Your person is feeling very practical at the moment, um, feeling like they want to fulfill their duties to you. Um, yeah, like they, they feel like they need to give something to you. There's an energy of like determination here as well, of being practical, of being solid, of being grounded, of carrying things out as well. Okay, so what are they feeling? What are they thinking? So with the moon energy, um... I feel like a lot of this person's focus right now in terms of thoughts is on their dreams, specifically their dreams at nighttime. They could have had some really profound dreams of you at night. Um, they are thinking a lot about how they're feeling towards you. Um, there's a feeling with the moon like there's awakening or awareness emerging from, from the down low, you know, so it's almost like they are 
becoming more perceptive of their own emotions. They're becoming more aware of their own emotions. Um, they're becoming aware of how their emotions shape the perception of the situation that they are in. So it's like this awakening, this greater awareness of their own emotional states that's coming in right now with the moon here. Um, yeah, they, they're trying to see more clearly through worries or through some type of fears that might be potentially sometimes present. Um, they are also paying attention to their dreams and kind of just watching for signs. This person also does want to see you more often in their dreams overall. So now also just with the energy of the High Priestess, I'm kind of jumping in Major Arcanas right now. So with the High Priestess energy, there is this feeling of keeping some type of secret, you know, being a bit secretive over something, like having some type of sacred knowledge or sacred understanding of this connection and keeping it to themselves. Um, it's almost like this person like intuitively knows something about this connection, but they're kind of keeping it private, keeping it to themselves. They could have had the dreams about you just in alignment with the moon here. They could have been dreams or have been very, very receptive to certain clairvoyant uh, messages. And they kind of got some of that, um, some of that understanding here of what this connection is and what this connection at least means for them. But they're choosing to keep this private right now. They're choosing to kind of hide um things within themselves but also they don't mind revealing that sometime in the future so a person doesn't mind revealing or talking about these things in the future what you they're just kind of keeping it still right now because they also feel like they are not really sure what exactly to do with this at the moment so let's see what else they're feeling quite dedicated to they're feeling dedicated towards this connection they're feeling like they want to progress it they want to you know do the work they want to do the work that is required to continue spending time with you to continue continue interacting with you with the queen of crystals energy we have this energy of prosperity here and comfort so this person definitely feels a great deal of abundance with you right now they feel a great deal of prosperity with you and they, they feel comfort and security within this relationship they feel taken care of they feel nurtured within this relationship with the ten of shells energy they feel a lot of blessings are coming in for them or they're just a lot of blessings that have been already present in the past and in the present moment in this relationship this person feels aligned with you they feel like you guys are just meant to spend time together or meant to spend more time together they feel aligned in the sense of you guys getting each other you know like you understand each other it's easy to talk to you um they feel a sense of like a deep bond with you a deep soulmate connection even with you here with the ten of shells um there's a feeling of wanting a happy family wanting a happy connection wanting a home with you wanting to be with you, you know, wanting to be the one for you as well. There's a feeling of wanting to be interlinked more and wanting to like continue progressing and building a solid emotional connection with each other. That's also like practical. So it's like practically situated within the physical world. Um, this person wants a family with you. They want potentially, you know, children with you as well with the Ten of Shells. But justice, it just feels like they're learning some of their lessons right now. With justice, it feels like lessons are being learned. Um, potential, some legalities are being taken care of. Um, there, there's a feeling like of things in the outside world, like, like coming into alignment for this connection. Um, it could just be that your person is, you know, just doing some things to bring this into alignment in the physical as well. Justice here feels very deeply connected to the physical world and like processes like bureaucracy or papers going on in the physical world. So that's what's happening here. Overall, they feel dedicated. They feel like they want to continue building. They can want to continue progressing this relationship. So this one is endurance yeah it's like the energy of i want to be strong i want to continue like pushing building this connection with each other so let's see what else wants to show up for us here 
what else are their exact thoughts and feelings i don't want to let you go is what i'm hearing here i don't want to you know stop trying in this connection we have manifesting miracles your dream is soon to become reality trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance so your person's like i'm not giving up i'm not giving up on you i'm not giving up on this connection you know you only fail when you give up so they're not failing um they feel a strong bond with you still so we have power you instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time so your person feels empowered in this connection they know they have the power to walk away if they choose to but they're choosing not to they're choosing to continue build stuff to build stuff with you you also have sexual union here so honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul for there is there you will find true bliss i feel like your person today is really thinking about your sexual encounters or the potential of having a sexual encounter with you so that is powerfully on their mind like sexual physical union here let's see what else and they're accepting the place where you're at right now with like this sense of stability emotional stability emotional emotional calmness serenity so we have acceptance is the key to inner peace at times we must accept things as they are there is no point trying to change that that which is beyond our control so they're not trying to change what is beyond their control but they're working towards changing what can be changed which is themselves. They're working towards changing their own attitudes, which is again that alignment with wisdom here. Um, what else? We have we have the energy of look inside yourself. Yeah, this person is introspecting. They're looking inside of themselves. They're examining themselves right now. We have examine what is causing you to feel this way. So they're examining themselves powerfully right now. And on the bottom, we have sacred union. So they feel this connection is sacred. They feel this connection is important. They want to continue building and progressing this, you know, working on it. Sacred union, honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. Your person honors you. They treasure this connection, right? They honor it. They want to treasure it more and more. So that's what we have in terms of this. We're going to look into the messages soon. So I just want to mention zodiac signs that we have showing up pisces is showing up here and here we have also libra energy over here we had leo gemini gemini libra energy with agreement um what else so this one is crystal energy this one is crystal energy so we have a virgo taurus and capricorn showing up here for you guys as well so let us see what else shows up you guys let's see what messages your person has for you right now what are their thoughts what are their emotions like so what do they want right now what do they want to share so let's see what do they want to share with you group number three please okay i love talking to you your person loves connecting to you they love talking to you i'm hearing i love our conversations I want to talk to you more. <laughs> yeah. Woo! You are magnetic. So they feel you're very magnetic. They feel you're very attractive. This person loves flirting with you. They love the chemistry between the two of you as well. You are on my mind right now. So, you know, literally confirmation that they are thinking of you this very moment. They're thinking of you, con your connection this very moment. They're thinking about ringing you up. You're missing from my life. Yeah, if you're not in contact right now or haven't been just talking to each other today, you know, they, they want to talk to you more. They want to just ring you up, be like, okay, what, how are you doing? What's going on? You know, what have you had for breakfast, dinner, lunch? You know, what are you doing? So let's see what else shows up for you group number three please spread what else do they want to say wishful thinking so this person is also like sometimes doubtful they feel like okay what what if it's too good to be true you know what if it doesn't work out what if they choose someone else you know they feel a little bit insecure about you also choosing someone else to be your partner you are so attractive so you're so attractive you're so magnetic um i have trust issues wow yeah like your person has trust issues in regards to trusting you to be like true to them or to be with them, to be faithful with to them, or you just, you know, meeting someone else that you again find more attractive than them. You know, they know that they can't influence fate. So they are a little bit insecure. Like what if you meet someone else that you 
resonate with more and someone who fulfills you more and then you choose to just let go of them you know so they have these like insecure thoughts here as well they also find you very attractive and they know like other people are more attracted to you or very attracted to you as well so they're afraid that um they might lose you because someone else who is better than them might come along and you know swoop you up so there's that insecurity here from your person so let's see what we have here i'm trying hard not to show you how much i care so yeah they're, they're kind of also like keeping um a boundary let's say around just how much they're showing you how much they sh they're showing their care and their love for you um it is an act of trying to protect themselves i'm trying not to hurt us others so they're also trying to keep some insecure thoughts at bay here uh, we have wisdom so they're wanting to act from a wise place i fantasize about you so much is here as well and what else we have here i have had intense dreams about you yeah so literally with the moon here that's just confirmation here i have had intense dreams about you. your person has recently had very strong dreams about you very telling dreams you are so intelligent it is hot wink face so yeah they find you very intelligent they find you very hot um just your body your mind everything it's like a whole pack package you are so hot you're so attractive um they feel very drawn to you so you guys let's get some more so let me just shuffle this up for you let's get you some more cards let's get you some more messages so what wants to show up for you, group number three here? What do they want to say? What does group number three's person want to tell them, please? What do they want to say, please, Spirit? What do they want to say? Okay, I want to take this to the next level. So they want to progress this connection. They want to work on this relationship. Whatever that next level is, whether it's moving in together, whether it's talking more, whether it's dating more, I'm a little obsessed with you. So yeah, they are obsessed with you. They really like you. They find you very sexy, very desirable. Um, I strongly remember our last conversation. So they love talking to you. They really also like deeply remember everything you guys talk about. And they like to replay those conversations back, like what your thoughts are um what your opinions are you know this person wants to please you um they want to take care of you they want to please you on all levels like mentally physically emotionally they want to make sure you are well that you are feeling safe with them i can't be with you right now so there might be something in the way for them right now just take it if it resonates you guys so your person feels like there's something in the way right now or they can't be with you right now you know physically they could be missing you a lot but they can be with you like physically right now could be that they're trying to take care of some things could be that this is also like a long distance relationship things like that i dream about you all the time so they have very strong dreams about you you know that's that high priestess i feel like that's also something that they're kind of keeping hidden um like the dreams that they have about you they're keeping that hidden they, they don't know how to share it with you is what they're saying. They don't know how to speak about this. It's a bit weird to speak about their dreams to you. That's like their opinion. Um, I have never felt like this before. They also feel, you know, very intensely here. Um, they've never felt like this before. There's this strong like attraction, attachment towards someone else, wanting to flirt so much, feeling so much chemistry between the two of you. What else? My body is burning with desire for you is here. So there's a lot of desire. There's a lot of like sexual attack attraction. attraction. Um, yeah, your person wants to pounce on you. They want, they want to be a little bit aggressive in the bedroom as well. So those are their thoughts here. I want to start over. So this is for those of you who resonate with this. They want to start over. They want to message you again. And they are kind of wishing that they could start again with you, that they could just start from a a clean slate with you really okay so you guys this is what we have this has been your reading thank you so much for tuning in with this reading today thank you for sharing your energy i appreciate you guys so very much thank you so much for being here if you want to book a personal tarot reading with me check out the etsy store the link is down below for those of you interested in more saucy spicy 18 plus tarot readings check out patreon the link is also down below thank you for tuning in love you guys so very much see you soon
soon in the next reading and hope you have a lovely day. Don't forget to comment down below, click the notification bell and subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet. And of course, like this video. Thank you for tuning in. Blessings to you all. Hope you have a lovely rest of the day. Bye. Namaste.